Coronavirus. So let's start with oh. with that thing. Okay. Let me guess. It, it it takes down white blood cells. No, it just looks like a crown. Oh. Uh, virus. Who up to today? I have this information from today. We have seven thousand seven hundred and eighty three cases up to this morning. Oh. So basically, this is the global threat. There is no medication. There are no vaccines. So basically we're going to talk about coronaviruses, they're like a family of viruses and we're going to talk specifically about the novelty uh, coronavirus which is also known as the Wuhan virus. It sounds very ninja-like, like the like turtles ninja, but it's very deadly, just like them. So, uh, basically, the coronaviruses, do you know anything about the coronaviruses? Yeah, hmm? yeah. Good, okay. So. One of the main symptoms of the coronaviruses is the shortness of breath. How do we call the shortness of breath? A hypo... Just like the, the symptom of just like feeling a little bit short of breath. Choke? No, no choke no, is no. different. Choke is something that you do to a person. It's called dyspnea. Dyspnea is a difficulty breathing. And we can present like with cyanosis, like uh, you become blue and uh, your body starts using the auxiliary muscles, the intercostal uh, muscles uh, to, to just uh, enables you to breathe. Fever, you have all of those things. And that's very common for all the upper respiratory uh, infections like pneumonia, like the flu, like uh, the common cold even. But in case of the coronavirus, especially the new one, it is very, very deadly because we can only treat the symptoms at this point. It's a virus, so it's not, uh, it, the antibiotics cannot do anything. Sometimes there are uh, comorbidities, so for example, where there are viral infections, there are also bacterial infections, and then we can include antibiotics, but it will not do anything to the, right. the virus itself. White blood cells in our body? Yes. Okay. What is the difference between uh, a bacteria and a virus? Virus is not a living virus, it's just DNA. Good stuff. Okay, so a bacteria is a single cell organism. A bacteria can live by its own. So there are bacteria that have been present for like 3 billion and 3.5 3 billion years. And we have plenty of bacteria in our bodies. And they're constantly living and they do stuff. Uh, and most of them are harmless. However, some of them actually have uh, some uh, bad effects. But the viruses, all of them are bad. <laughs> okay. And they're not actually living things. So they're just like... Uh, they can't reproduce. Yes, so they cannot live by its own. They, have, they need a host. They're parasites. Venom. DNA or RNA strings that are encapsulated with a protein layer. And that protein layer can have many, many forms. You see, these are uh, glucoproteins. And because the coronavirus glucoproteins look like that, they look like a, like a crown, like a halo. And they've been known to the, the humanity from the 1960s. So we know all about the coronaviruses, but today we're dealing with something a little bit different. So. In December 2019, we had this major outbreak in China. So now, up to today, they're like, uh, it's spread all around, all the regions of China are infected with that. What can we do? Like, there is no vaccine, there is no treatment, we can only treat the symptoms. Uh, and uh, what can we do? Basically, what can you do for your family, for your classmates to prevent a possible uh, infection with coronavirus. Contact with anyone who's been in China in the past, like a couple of weeks, and okay. we can wear masks. yes, basically, wear masks. Uh, the infection of the flu or other respiratory viruses, because it is confirmed that the the coronavirus, even though it's uh, most of the strings are uh, transmitted from uh, from an animal to a human, the new coronavirus, the Wuhan strain. Uh, has uh, a confirmed human-to-human -human, 
transmission possibility. We can increase the blood cells, but uh, uh, there is no like antiviral uh, solutions ready to fight that. For example, if we're talking about the flu, in the first 24 hours we can use ramantidine, ramantidine or Tamiflu, no effect, so we just only treat the symptoms. But with the coronavirus, we don't have that. So what we can do is just use masks. Okay, so, okay, have some masks. Show me how you put it. Look cool for the camera. The coronavirus prevention. <laughs> in the operating room, for example, when you become an awesome surgeon or an anesthetist. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> But the thing is that you can only Just use it one it time. <laughs> okay? So what is that, guys? What is so that? Hand guy? sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. The World Health Organization recommends instead of soap. Mm. This kills all the bacteria. So it has to be, according to the World Health Organization, more than 70% of ethanol. So more than 70% of spirit. This is 66 because we're in Bulgaria. We don't follow the health organization uh, guidelines. So by just applying that, okay, I now wash my hands, okay? How cool is that? Use a mask if there are like risk for you. And also, okay, it, in one position it's locked, in, okay. Go, you get it. The, the other thing, because as I said, human to human, so make sure so make sure, yeah, it's, uh, they said that, for example, this drink uh, came from uh, That's snakes. Oh. Yeah. Dogs, through cats, through cows, uh, farm animals, well, we live in Sofia, so we don't have many farm animals. Uh, but still, so, okay. yeah. And how the essential amino acids cannot be, for example, dairy products or meat itself. So you can go completely vegetarian, and that will be fine, but not completely vegan. The coronavirus. So, how do we... Let's just talk about the management. Difficulty breathing. How do we address those? Those are just symptoms. Okay? What, what can we give, give somebody, for example, for fever? How do we lower temperature? Non-steroid anti-inflammatories, like diclofenac and ibuprofen. Also, uh, we have uh, paracetamol, aspirin, uh, we have Talano is paracetamol. It's a, like a brand name of the generic product paracetamol. Cough syrup, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a basically, of honey. Hmm? A spoonful of honey. Yeah. Well, it depends on if the cough is productive. Is it wet or is it like super super dry? So. Uh, hmm? Acetylcysteine. Yes, acetylcysteine. That's w wonderful or and it helps. Uh, for wet coughing. What can we give? Uh, it's, a vet, it's an emergency uh, medication, but what, what can we give to expand the alveoli to just, uh, and the bronchi to just... Aspirin. Hmm? Aspirin? No. Ventolin. Ventolin, exactly. So what is Ventolin? That's albutamol. Because he or she is contagious during the entire period of the sickness. And also, even before the symptoms have, uh, have presented themselves. So they can confirm that, that even before the symptoms appear, you're still contagious. So this is why it's very easy to spread the coronavirus. Uh, symptom of coronavirus. Hmm? A dry cold. Dry cold? Yeah. What is like a dry cold? Do you mean dry, dry cold? cough? Dry cough? Or uh, just cold? Well, coronavirus is like, it's cold one of them. Cold can be uh, like a manifestation of many, many bacteria and many, many viruses also. So, but basically it's a, it's a viral infection. But the common cold, one of the viruses can be, but not this coronavirus, but uh, one of the other things. It can present as a, uh, as a, just, a uh, just a common cold. For example, you have the sneeze, you have... Uh, a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of uh, uh, just uh, not feeling very well, just generally unwell. And the flu, basically how you differentiate the flu from the common cold is basically the flu hits you like a train. Nose is going and everything. So uh, basically this is this is what the, the flu is. 
uh, the good thing is that we have uh, vaccinations for the flu. Uh, so for the, for this, oh, okay. okay. It comes and, very and, quickly. Oh, and this, uh, yeah, it can, yeah, it progresses very quickly. So, uh, but because uh, you cannot do anything about it, you should seek medical attention because just to treat the symptoms and control your uh, control your general condition. So basically, you go there and they. Uh, the team of doctors and nurses, they take care of you and just uh, in case you, you go into a, for example, a septic shock, they can treat you and try to save you. They're pretty advanced in that in Canada and soon they start uh, treating, start uh, doing the experiments on animals. But still it's, uh, at the moment, we don't have anything against the, the new coronavirus. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so basically, it's just particles. You, you know, they, they don't have a mechanism of uh, uh, moving uh, by their own. They don't have wings, they don't have uh, anything. It's one of the two centers that are prepared at the moment to deal with uh, the coronavirus. We had like an interview yesterday with uh, with uh, one of the colonels there, uh, a director, who said that they're fully prepared to to take patients with coronavirus. So if you have a patient like that, just send it to the military academy.